Sounds Jeff, a little intense. Use your nails to get that plastic off. <laughs> Gladly. Or your dagger that's hanging on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's keeping the dragon in the stone form. This is a full like this is <laughs> a full <laughs> set. No! no! What is happening? <laughs> I'm so upset I'm not in this joke. <laughs> you are the joke. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Mastering Mediocrity in Vibes Edition. I'm Jeff. I'm Ben. I'm Mark. And we are here today, as usual, to sample what we hope are delicious drinks. Man, them glasses look crooked. Are they? I mean, Maybe my face? My face could be crooked. Could be. Maybe I'm crooked. <laughs> you probably are uh so here we are again feels good to be back boys let's do this uh we'll just start off straight away with some alcohol because that's what we do oh shit i forgot to take the plastic off uh, that's okay it, i mean i've done that before all right. it, it's an honest Ooh, mistake it's, a, it's oh. a tough shape up top too so, yeah i know right? <laughs> so what we got here is woodenville straight bourbon whiskey pot distilled uh 90 proof I'm going to need some water for this. And, and I, uh, I won't make you guys read this because there is like a fucking Tolkien novel on the back of this. Yeah, that's a lot of words. Get your sexy voice on. Jesus Christ. This truly small batch bourbon starts with traditionally grown corn, rye, and malted barley. All of our staple grains are cultivated exclusively for us in the Omlin family farm in Quincy, Washington. The grains are mashed and distilled in our Woodenville distillery, then trucked back over the Cascade Mountains to our private barrel houses, where Central Washington's extreme temperature cycles promote the extraction of natural flavors for the oak. <clears throat> Did you lose your spot? No, You're having a seizure no, right now. No, no. I'm getting some start, start over. Over. <laughs> Um, all right, all right. Prior prior to being coopered, never seen that word before. Mm. Uh, we'll put the definition up there. The barreled. Bar- oh, okay, okay. Uh, the barrel wood is seasoned in open air, rain, wind, sun, and snow for eighteen months, softening the wood's harsh tannins. The barrels are then slowly toasted and heavily charred to further enrich the wood's desirable flavors. This meticulous process yields a truly handcrafted spirit with aromas of creme brulee and spice cabernet. As well as notes of rich caramel, dark chocolate, and vanilla bean on the palate with a sweet, lingering finish. Jesus Christ, wow. who wrote that? That's a lot of flavor packed into one. Yeah, room. that sounds Jeff, a little intense. use your nails to get that plastic off. <laughs> Gladly. Or your dagger that's hanging on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's keeping the dragon in the stone form. <laughs> this is a full, like, this is a full set. No! What is happening? I'm so upset I'm not in this joke. <laughs> you are the joke. <laughs> I'm happy to be the joke. No! Don't do it! Oh, oh, what have you done? <laughs> the beast awakens. <laughs> Actually, wow, <laughs> wow, uh, that's funny, that's rich. It's just a very unique knife, <laughs> <laughs> it's so cheap, it has no edge, but the point is dangerous. No, no. Oh, I'm sorry, just take a look at it. Take it, it's in your hand, it's very interesting. Point, oh, yeah, it there, is, there is no edge on it. Giving it to you, point first, though. <laughs> take, take a look at that, right in the eye. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, do you want to hold it? <laughs> What mall did you get this from, Jeff? <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> the kiosk isn't there anymore. Yeah. You want to open this? I uh, did the little, I did the hardware. Right. Oh, okay. So here we go. Ooh. Mm, I could hear the chocolate undertones. <laughs> uh, that's exactly what I imagine chocolate to sound like. <laughs> but, so this was forty one ninety nine at Kroger. Okay. At the Kroger liquor store, because that's yeah. not Yeah, I was going to say, what Kroger cool. sells liquor? Gross. Well, the, it is a handsome the two, bottle. The two over by yeah, us. Yeah, it's nice. Got, the two over by us got a liquor store in the Kroger. Yeah. I mean, you got to buy it in there or whatever, but... It looks like it has a picture of an old school distillery. I think this is real cork. Fuck yeah. Mm. Oh. 
It's very convincing. It's very convincing if it's not. I mean, I know what real cork is. <laughs> and this might be it. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, you guys got a fucking cork expert here. <laughs> oh, fuck. Cheers, Cheers mates. mates. What percentage? 90 proof. That's a very smooth. Uh, maybe it's because it's... Oh, wow, yeah, it's... Uh, I'm dying over here. <laughs> it's very sweet. I, you know, I, I don't... I'm getting the sweet aftertaste that they talked about. Not yeah. really picking up any individual tones. I'm not an expert. No, it was a little harsh up front, I thought, but... Yeah, just a touch. It went down very it well. It finished very sweet. I but kept I'm, it in the I'm mouth a, long, a little thirsty, while. I'm thirsty, guys. I'm thirsty. Thank you so much. Lemon lime. Ooh. I'm just gonna do enough to like get me through the rest of the show, which is the rest of it. So I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm. It's. I'm getting the chocolate right now. It's hitting, but I don't think I like that. I'm not. I'm not a fan. No, I don't love it. Yeah, maybe. You might. You might like willing that into my mouth, maybe. I don't taste Maybe any a little chocolate. chocolate. I don't know if I legit it's don't know if this sweet. is the way to go pre-drink. Because this is quite a flavor, this liquid IV. I mm. think it's okay. But yeah, it's a little odd. Um But that's what I had in there before I took the shot. Because I, you know, want cleared the mouth out, washed and get wetted the palate. Mm. Yeah, to start with so anything but too much flavor. Yeah, like doing some funky mixing. Well, we have to uh I'd, give well, her a, give her another poll here. Yeah, whenever we do these uh, challenges. Yeah, we should probably jump right into that. But are we before, gonna wait on the? Are we gonna? Do you what? guys feel comfortable rating that now? Well, I'm like at like a six. Yeah, I'd say that's fair. I mean, it's not super expensive. It's good. You know, I don't think you'd be upset I, if you paid forty bucks for that and then took I a would, shot. And you're like, yeah. I would mix it. Hmm. I think it would be good with Coke. I'm going to give it a, a hesitant four because you both seem to really semi-enjoyed it. And you didn't. And I didn't. So maybe on the next one, I might like it a little bit more. I might adjust my score up. When it gets warmer, I think we'll be able to get a little bit more of the spices involved as well. Okay. Maybe. It tends to be a little bit more honest the less cold it is. So Mark, if or you want to reach... It, you oh. mean it, it tends to be more honest. Yeah, it tends to be yeah. more honest. Isn't that what I said? I think he said least it tends to be. Well, honest. we'll play it back yeah. right now. <laughs> it tends to be a little bit more honest the less cold it is. <laughs> I can't be convinced either way. Oh, I, we're at a six and a four. Yeah, yeah. We're not terribly. It's not, I know it's not like said. nines. And I then... thought I knew, but now I don't. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Mark, if you reach under this table here, there is a container of... Uh, I oh, guess that's like an ice cold thing. Yeah, it's, it's like steal a this from a hotel. Like a, it's like a <laughs> it's right? it's trash like a, can from cool. the from the pool. <laughs> it's like a cooler that you would have at a party. You know, people it's coming around. A party of like one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you and you. Yeah. Me and my <laughs> six beers. <laughs> Normally it would be just ice and you would have the tongs with it. Uh, it would be okay. just ice. Right, so I, but I sense. improvised because there is only the three of us. Mm. Uh, so then why don't you take that one, take a good look at what it is, and then think maybe about what its competitor might be. Cherry Coca-Cola. I would imagine it's Wild Cherry Pepsi. You would be correct, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a wild shot in the dark. <laughs> Literally. It's wild. Right. Well, that's a good head-to-head, -head, though. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think it's okay. It's I'm like, unfamiliar oh, yeah. with that one. Which I don't know if I've ever had a wild cherry. Pepsi. I, I, all right, not to not to go too far off, but the very first time I have ever had a wild cherry Pepsi was okay. in like yeah. third grade. For whatever reason, I had you know seventy five cents in my pocket. Did it really exist back then? Yeah, like I, mean, I don't know if it was third grade, but we okay. went to the we went to uh, the Wright Museum up in Dayton or whatever, whatever you know, right the vending machine, yeah. and. I got a wild cherry Pepsi, and I was like, "This thing is blowing my fucking third grade mind." <laughs> I um, yeah. never felt that way about either of these flavors. Well, you weren't in third grade. Yeah, you gotta be like eight to yeah. really experience the <laughs> yeah. joy of that. I'm not actually a huge cherry flavor fan. Like yeah, anything, uh, it's okay. It it is okay. I wouldn't be upset to take one out of a cooler, but I like never buy one. Okay. Why did you yeah. have us bring cups down? 
Surprise! <laughs> 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 you gotta combine them. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, here we go. All right, I'm, I'm going. A, yeah, okay. I'm going tried and true here with mine now. So yeah, this oh, one's new to me. Really? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Well, cheers. Cheers, right, mates. Let's cheers, mates. <laughs> so awkward. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. That's what I remember this tasting like, you know, something similar. I feel like they have uh, enough of a distinct flavor between the two of them. This is very bubbly. Coke uh -huh. tends to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. I really like these small cans. I don't know why it makes a difference for me. Because it makes you feel like your hand's like Andre the Giant. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how big I am. <laughs> I'm oh, so no. big. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that would be fun. I've enjoyed it. Fuck you guys. I didn't say anything. Press the fucking button, Mark. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. Put the dagger away. Put the beast, put put it the beast away. to sleep. Alright. Oh, you guys are already on to the second one. <laughs> Why is that? Oh, I can't judge it now. I laughed with it too long in my mouth. We'll take another sip then. Oh, Jesus, man. I think I'm going to fucking shoot my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already so bloated. <laughs> the, I, mean, I hope you do. Like, <laughs> I'm, honestly, they taste oh, like they chugging taste exactly the same. I don't know. The Pepsi, I think, has more flavor and less bubbly. Less bubbly for sure. Less mm. bubbly. This actually strangely tastes colder, even though they've literally been in the same refrigerator and the same ice container. I think the Coke does the cherry flavor better. Yeah. This Jesus is still Christ. like a little too like Pepsi-ish or Pepsi-y. This is a, has a more distinct flavor from its, uh, yeah. its big brother or whatever, from regular Coke. It's very distinguished to me. I'm... I'm... I'll give you that. I'll, everything you said, I don't think I would disagree with a single point. They are, they are so, so close. So They're similar. so close. So similar. Yeah. I, I don't know why I think this, but when I drink the Pepsi, I feel like it has a slightly warmer quality. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't, I don't like. I don't know like how, how that. It's like I don't is. even know what that means. I don't even know what those words but mean. It's more syrupy. It's like round, more rounded out. Yeah, it's like thicker, more yeah. viscous. But thickness and viscosity are different. Kind of, they're not related. They're apparently there's no. Other <laughs> what? <laughs> Jeff, pour your shot. <laughs> that incoherent rambling at the end. I'm just like Jeff, I'm blown away shot. by like legitimately how close they are. <laughs> just take them both at the same time. Oh, God, this is gonna right. be a great day tomorrow. Hell yeah! Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Oh, no. No. I don't <laughs> no. want it anymore. I don't think that was the right choice of drink before that. Uh, I'm dying. Oh, I'm oh. dying. This is, that's fucking terrible. I think, I, I, I think it made it better. I was going to up my Ooh. score to like maybe a five or a six. Dude, I'm at like a two good. right now. It's, oh, it's so bad. Don't drink it after you drink a cherry Coke or cherry Pepsi. It's awful. Oh, my God. <laughs> Boys, that was fun. It was. Yeah. Uh, we are back in action. <laughs> That's why you are a bar. Uh, this is so Cut bad. To music all right, uh, all right puke, so puke on everyone. Legitimately, I'm at a two. All right. I, that, yeah, I think you gotta give a yeah, little more. Yeah, of, yeah. Okay. Come on, fair I'm shake than that. The four. Yeah, split the difference at least four. I'd yeah. probably drop mine down to a, a five. Right, <laughs> five point five. Jeff, bring us home. If you like what you saw here today, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, watch the show. Love you guys.